Good morning, my dear students. Welcome you all to the maths class. So, in our today's class, we are going to learn about expanded form of a numbers. All right. And also, we are going to learn about writing numbers using periods related to the chapter 3 that is numbers. But before starting our today's class, let's give a quick recap of the things which we have discussed in our last class. So, children, in our last class, we have started chapter 3 that is numbers where we have learned about the smallest and largest two digit, three digit, four digit and five digit numbers. After that we have learned how to read and write five digit numbers. Then I have explained to you what is a place value and what is a phase value. Alright. So children, do you remember what is a phase value and what is a place value? So that explanation I have completed in the last class. Right. So I have a question to you. What is a place value? Tell me. Every digit in a number occupies a place in a place value chart. Each digit gets its value from the place it occupies. Alright. This is called a place value. What is a phase value? Phase value is nothing the number itself. Now, before starting our today's topic, I will explain to you how to find the difference between phase value and place value of the digits. Right? So, look at here everyone. That is the recall part. Find the difference between the phase value and place value of the underlying digits. Two questions are there. Number A. Look at number A. 50,562. Okay. And number B. 84,392. In number A. Which number is underlined? That is 5. Okay. Now what you have to do? What is given in the question? Find the difference between the phase value and the place value of the underlying digits. In number A, which number is underlined? 5. So now you tell me children, what is the place value of 5 and this number? Yes, the place value of 5 in this number is 500. Okay, the place value of 5 is 500. 50,562. Now same. Same number you write the phase value. As I have already explained it to you, phase value is the number itself. So the phase value of 5 is 5. After writing place value and phase value of the underlying digit, now find the difference between. Now you have to find out the difference. What is the place value of 5? 500 written. What is the phase value of 5? It is 5. Now you need to find out the difference. So the difference equal to 500 minus 5. That means place value minus phase value. What is the answer? Answer is 495. Clear? First you need to find out the place value of the underlying digit. Then you need to find out the phase value. After that both the numbers you have to minus. You have to find out the difference. Come to number B. The number is 84,392. Which number is underlined? 3. Now what is the place value of 3? The place value of 3 is 300. See here 84,392. Place value of 3 is 300. Now what is the phase value of 3? Phase value of 3 is 3. Now you need to find out the difference. So difference 300 minus 3 equal to 297. Alright. So this way you need to do whenever the question is given like this. Find the difference between phase value and the place value of the underlying digits. Alright. That means first you need to find out the phase value. Then phase value. Then both you have to do the difference. Then you will get the answer. That means the place value of the underlying digit and the phase value of the underlying digit, the difference is this one. 
okay so not like this some other type questions also may come ne? like find the place value of the given digit so you need to find out like this suppose what is the place value of 5 that is 50,000 what is the place value of 0 children remember the place value of 0 is always 0 okay what is the place value of then 5? This is 500. What is the place value of 6? 60. What is the place value of 2? 1. So, 5 in the 10,000. Place value of 0 is 0. Is it place? Place value of this place value of 5 is 100. Then 16 tens place, 2 in 1's place. Alright? I hope it is clear to you all. Now, we are going to learn about expanded form and also writing numbers using periods, right? Now, the topic is writing numbers using periods. So, first of all, what are periods? We can also show a five-digit numbers in a place value chart by dividing it into two parts that is called periods, okay? I have drawn your place value chart and where I have shown two periods, ones period and thousand period. The two periods are the ones period which has three places. What are they? Hundred tens ones. In ones period three places, hundred tens ones. The thousand period which has two places, ten thousand and thousand. Ten thousand and thousand. Right? That means we can show five digit number in a place value chart by dividing into it into two parts that is called periods. These are ones period and this one is a thousand period. Ones period three places, thousand period two places. Okay. To show periods, separate the digit by using commas. Let's take an example. 32,654. Now children tell me, where I will put comma to show the periods? Where you? We will put your comma after 32. As I have already explained, two periods, ones period and thousand period. So these three are ones period and these two are thousand period. Alright, so in ones period three places, these three places for ones period. And these two places for 1000 period. So ones period, ones, tens, hundred, and a thousand period, thousand and ten thousand. These number we can write it here also to show the periods. 32,000, this is for thousand period, 654. This is a, it shows ones period. So clear children? Understood what are periods? That means we can show a five digit number on a place value chart by dividing into two parts that is called periods. And to show periods, we need to put what? Commas. Okay. And a given digit. So two periods are what are the two periods? Ones period and thousand periods. Ones period, three places, ones, tens, hundred, and thousand period, two places, thousand and ten thousand. Yeah. By taking two more examples, you can practice at home. Now, we are going to learn expanded form of a five-digit numbers. Now, the topic is expanded form. So, children, what is expanded form? In expanded form, we break up a number according to their place value and expand it to show the value of each digit. Right? So, what do we do in expanded form? We break up a number according to their place value. Right? And expand it to show the value of each digit. So, let us take an example to understand the thing. Expand it from more properly. So, the example is 25,321. This is a standard form. Okay, this is a standard form. Now, this standard form. I'm going to expand it. I'm going to write it in an expanded form. So now see here, we'll see the places. 
So, break up the number according to your place value. So, 2 in 10,000. So, we'll write 20,000. Then, 5 plus 5,000 plus 300 plus 20 plus 1. The way of writing this way is called expanded form. Expanded form. In expanded form, what we did? We break up a number according to their place value. So, 2 in which place? 10,000. So, 20,000. Okay, 5 in 1,000 place. 5,000. 3 in 100 place. 2 in 10 place. So, 20 plus 1 in 1 place. 1. So, writing this way, when we break up a number according to their place value and expand it to show the value of each digit, that is called expanded form. Right? Now, let us take an example, another example to show the expanded form. The example is 8,231. So, expand it. This is what form? Standard form. Now, let's expand it. 8,000. 8 in which place? 1,000 place. The first one I've shown you the 5 digit number example. The next one I've shown you the uh, 4 digit number example. So, 8,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 1. So, 8 in which place? 1,000 place. 2 in 100 place. 3 in 10's place, 1 in 1's place. Clear? So, I hope you have understood the standard form and expanded form. Alright? So, children, please practice writing number using periods, then expanded form, then find out the difference between place value and phase value. Right? These things you keep on practice. Okay? So, in our next class, we are going to learn comparing of 5 digits numbers. Thank you.